Greetings from Northern Minnesota on a beautiful spring day. My name is Kate Beliveau, and I am the artistic director of the Mask and Rose Women's Theater Collective, a 501c3 nonprofit that was founded in 2006 by several women who were especially becoming more aware that they weren't seeing the roles for women they would like to see on stage. Uh, women's roles that were more nuanced, more complex, more interesting. And so it was an impetus to start a group that could showcase women playwrights, women designers, women directors, women actors, all aspects of the good artistic work that women can do. Unlike Minneapolis-St. Paul, a very large metro area, we are located in a very rural poverty area. We work a lot with our Native American community because our community, Bemidji, is located between the Red Lake, the White Earth, and the Leech Lake Indian Reservations. And my professional background is I served as the Director of Gifted Education on several of those reservations for 35 years. So our relationships are deep and strong, and we continue to build those, working with the new Native Theater in Minneapolis. So we worked out of buildings in Bemidji, but we took the dive and built our own space three years ago. So we now have our own performance space that can seat 200 people, a small gallery, the Fleur de Lis Gallery for visual artists. My husband is a sculptor, so we're gonna be doing a lot of workshops with youth and elders and combinations of the two to build sculptures for the Nine Muses Sculpture Garden, which all of these spaces sit on 40 acres of meadows and woods in the rural area of Poposki, Minnesota, population 85. We don't have large corporations here in Northern Minnesota. We rely upon Minnesota's really quite cutting edge resources, but still very competitive amounts of dollars through the Region 2 Arts Council, part of the Minnesota State Arts Board. We would so welcome the support from the Jane Walker Fund. One of the pieces we'd really like to develop is to hire someone to work with getting quality work with elders. So not just crafts and arts, but truly letting them have their voice and bring them on as the Greek chorus and theater productions and generally just bring elders into the fold so that their lives are enriched. That would be one use of our funds. Another is we're an off-grid theater and so we are in need of some additional lights for our theater space, just a basic need. Uh, we chose to be off the grid as another example because uh, we tried to do ecology theater camps with youth. And so we're trying to walk the talk with how we built our space. We are an under-resourced arts group. We try to work very much in the community that we are in, which is a rural space close to our native neighbors. And um, we do a lot of collaborations with Minneapolis St. Paul groups. One group is the 10,000 Things Theater that does their work in prisons. An Algerian one woman show was brought so that our communities would be more exposed to Muslim view and Muslim um, works from Algeria. And we also worked with a group called Tiger Lion Arts and brought a walking theater play into our meadows that focused on the relationship between Thoreau and Emerson. So we welcome many, many collaborations and bring other artistic voices to our rural community. We thank you so much for considering our application. Thank you.